What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Random Recess. Chris and Abed here, and we're back for another Random Recess barbecue review on our barbecue tour of Austin. Today, we're here at Cosmic Coffee and Beer Garden to check out Roy and Lewis, which is a food truck located right next door. And we've heard a lot of great things about the bacon rib in particular, so we're excited to get that. We tried to come here a couple weeks ago, and the line was just absolutely crazy, so we got here a little bit early to get in line first. So let's go get after it. You know what time it is. It's recess time. All right, like any good barbecue spot here in Austin, you gotta wait in line a little bit. So we showed up to Leroy and Lewis about an hour before they opened. They opened at 11. We got here right at about 9.56, 9.57 to start our wait. We're right towards the front of the line. Luckily, Leroy and Lewis, the food truck is located right next to Cosmic Coffee and Beer Garden. So while you wait in the shade, grab yourself a coffee. The bed was able to get us some chai lattes. This is fantastic, by the way. Cosmic is amazing. They have some really great coffee drinks. This chai. Five out of five, it's perfect. You know what? We're just gonna sit under an umbrella, wait for them to open. You can already smell the meat, getting us really hungry. We're excited to try it out. Time to order. I'm gonna order a lot. It's gonna be expensive, but it's gonna be worth it. One really cool thing about Leroy and Lewis is that they locally source their meat and they make sure that the meat that they get come from farms that humanely treat the animals. So you don't really find that a lot and that's really neat um, to know that, you know, they're supporting local businesses, local farms here in Austin. Uh, and that the meat that they're sourcing is being humanely raised. So just a little tidbit, you can order by the pound market price. We decided to go for meat plates and uh, try a couple different meats and some sides as well. They only serve brisket on Saturdays and Sundays, so we're in luck. Today we got the bacon rib and we got brisket. So for my two meats, I got beef cheek and I got brisket. Everything looks really, really good. For the sides, I got kimchi and Frito pie. So they have a red chili Frito pie and some kimchi that they make in-house, which I'm very excited about. I love kimchi. And they serve it with Martin's potato rolls. Martin's potato bread is, I mean, that's an elite bread. So they do have sauces too for all you saucy people. They have a mustard barbecue sauce and then they have a beet barbecue sauce, which is kind of unique. Never heard of that before. I'm going to do away with the sauces for right now and just try the meat by itself. Let's see what it tastes like. Yeah, tastes exactly like Texas brisket. If I'm being honest, I think I like the brisket at just a relative more. I think it just had a, like, a more unique flavor to it and the different spices that they use. This is your classic salt and pepper rub. And it's really good. The star of the show is still the bacon. Rib. The brisket is good though. I give it a four out of five. This is the mustard barbecue sauce. That's really good. Slightly sweet, slightly smoky, and you get the acidity from the mustard in there. It pairs really nicely with the fatty brisket. Now let's try the beef barbecue sauce. Of the two barbecue sauces, I think I gotta go with the mustard one. It just has a nice tang to it. The beet one is a little too sweet for me. Let's try the second meat, which is the beef cheeks. Look at that. I just gotta say the, the crust is impeccable on these. So tender, really thick cuts of meat. At first bite, this is better than the brisket, y'all. The beef cheeks are not to be slept on when you come to Leroy and Lewis. Get the beef cheeks, you can get them every day. And like I said, the brisket is good. Beef cheeks are better. You gotta give these a four and a half out of five. This is really, really good. Yeah, you don't even need a knife. You, you can cut these with a fork. Is it? This is the bacon rib. This is the, this is like what you come here for. This is what they're known for. They only serve it one day a week and that's today. So it is a huge monstrous rib. We bring in half pigs from this one ranch in South Texas called Peaceful Pork. They are a cross between a red wattle and a Berkshire pig. And we take one of the other middles. We cut our pork chops, we cut our bacon ribs, and we cut our pork head up from that. So the bacon ribs are the belly on spare rib. These are butchered by us specifically for this dish. So there's only about 20 of them per week. So we cut them down, uh, put it on cure, big slab, uh, just like bacon yeah. for a week. And then we smoke it just like bacon. And then instead of slicing it into individual pieces of bacon or rashers, we cut it into ribs. Nice. And then we smoke them again from there, season them with brown sugar and black pepper. This is a week long process for more Yes, time. more, yeah, it is. Uh, so we get the pigs in on like a Tuesday night and then those will be the next weekends. Yeah. Wow. Well, we really appreciate it. All of the hard work and stuff that goes into it is evident. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like we said, it's definitely one of the best things we've ever tasted. It's super unique. Like, I don't I don't think I've ever seen this anywhere else. Saturdays yeah. only. Yeah. 
at Leroy and Lewis. Get here early. Yeah. 10 o'clock or before. What a treat, you guys. We got to sit down with Evan Leroy, owner and pit master of Leroy and Lewis, to talk about the bacon rib. He gave a really great explanation of what goes in to making this. It is a labor intensive process that is not fast. You can definitely tell. So that was really cool. He saw us filming and he just came over and introduced himself and sat down and uh, we got a little interview with him. So that was kind of a neat, uh, a neat little part of lunch today. If Leroy and Lewis is a familiar name or is ringing a bell, you may have seen them on Somebody Feed Phil on Netflix. I believe it's the sixth season, his Austin episode. He comes here and he gets the bacon rib. So check that out on Netflix. It does a really good uh, walkthrough of it as well. If you like content like food reviews, hotel reviews and resort reviews, you've come to the right place. We take you on cruises, go to Las Vegas, and we also go to theme parks like Disney World and Disneyland all the time. If you're interested in that stuff, consider giving us a subscribe. It helps our channel out. And stay up to date by hitting that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of our recesses. If you want the bacon rib, you gotta get here pretty early because they do sell out really, really quick. They only have like two racks or so uh, to sell every Saturday, but man, it is expensive. It's $43, but we're gonna try it and see if it's worth it. It's huge, for size alone it is. I think it's worth it, but we'll see how it tastes. So it is, since it's pork belly on, it's gonna be super fatty. I'm really excited to see how this tastes. Look at that crust on the outside. That's phenomenal. That's unlike anything I've ever eaten before. The fattiness of the pork belly is there. Really unctuous pork flavor. And let me tell you, the fat of the pork belly dissolves in your mouth. Like, you don't even have to chew it. It really just dissolves when you when you take a bite. You can taste the smoke, and they also glaze it with maple. You kind of get that, like, reminiscent of maple, maple glazed bacon on the outside, but just not as sweet. It's a little bit sweet. It's smoky. It's super fatty. This is extraordinary. This might be one of the best things I've ever eaten. If you're a big pork fan, the pork rib... The bacon rib here at Leroy and Lewis is a must to get. You gotta get it. I have to give this one a five out of five. Recommend it for sure. You can see, look at the fattiness because it's the pork belly that they keep on here. And then as you get closer to the bone, you get the more meaty part. Dang it, it's so good. It's like bacon on steroids. Honestly, it melts like butter. That's the best thing that I've had here so far. I mean, with that bacon rib, I've never really tried something like that. It really is fatty, but it melts like butter. Honestly, get a cracker or some bread. It's like butter. It's like butter. It's like porky butter. Smoky porky butter. And what's wrong with that? It's perfect. All right, let's go for the sides now. I got Frito pie and I got kimchi. All right, question for everyone. They have it as a side. Is kimchi a side or a condiment? 100% it's a side. You eat it by itself on the side. Condiments you kind of put on. You could though. It's a really, really clever play on the whole pickles and onions with your brisket uh, or with your barbecue. It's, it's got a good heat, it's got a nice spice, really good flavor. The pickled vegetables, the cabbage have a nice crunch and snap. That's really good kimchi. It's super mild. So if you're worried about like the funkiness that some kimchi can bring, this is a really, really toned down version of that. So don't be scared of it. It's really approachable. And it does play very well with the fattiness of the meat. Kimchi gets a four out of five to it. Now let's check the walking taco or Frito pie, as normal people call it. Got the nice chopped white onions, the cheese, the chili, the crunchy Fritos, all right. Again, really, really good. You have the smoked meat and the chili. Crunchy Fritos, get the bite from the white onion and then the cheese. They all marry so well together. My only, I won't even say criticism, but I kind of like my chili to be spicy. That would be my one thing, but you know, I got to give this a four out of five too. It's really, really good. It's a great side. All right, so I also got the two meat plate. You can order by the pound here, but you have to ask for market price. All right, so for my sides, I got the Frito pie and then the pork hash rice. So really excited about that. Uh, I got the sausage and of course the brisket. So this is their Citra hop sausage. They do have a special today, which is a kielbasa sausage, but I decided to go with something that you can find every day for this review. I gotta say, just by holding it, by touching this meat, you can really tell when you touch meat, like if it's, if it's gonna be good or not. And I gotta say, Touching this sausage, it has the right texture. Um, I don't like my sausage too smooth. I like a few bumps, you know, a few ridges. So this sausage, I gotta say, so far, just on field alone, is pretty good. Um, so let's give it a taste. This sausage gets five out of five. This is really well seasoned. It's a little salty, but in a good way. It's moist. Um, yeah, by all accounts, this, I would eat this. I know my sausage, this is five out of five. All right, if you're new to our channel, you probably don't understand a bit sense of humor, but if you know a bit, you know exactly what he was doing during that sausage review. Who, me? No, I would never. 
and he's smiling because he knows what he was doing. Guess uh, we were playing a little game of count the double entendres in a sausage review. I think Ben threw in about 10 or 15 in there. That was funny. But yeah, the sausage is really, really good. He's not wrong. All right, y'all, final thoughts on Leroy and Lewis. I got to say, this is definitely going to be a repeat for us. It's definitely a random recess recommend. And so definitely come out and support them. Get in line early. We came here about an hour and a half before they opened just so that we wouldn't miss out. Uh, they do have umbrellas here, misters that go on. It's a really cool place. Grab a drink, grab some coffee from Cosmic and just enjoy yourself. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, we really appreciate it. That's gonna do it for this random recess restaurant review of Leroy and Lewis. Till next time, see you on the next recess.